Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video, and I am here with... Your art kids, it's Ross Clark. Yeah, so we're here, and we've been kind of working on this vault dropping techniques. We showed you a video where how to do this thing, where you kind of like drop vaults onto a force field and allows you to create a literal floating vault in the sky. Now, when Ross Clark found this, he kind of, uh, I, I talked to him about it, I was like, man, that's really neat. How can we expand this idea? So we've done a defensive video. Now we're going to go ahead and show you how to use this offensively. If you haven't seen this trick before, it's pretty easy. You literally just have to take a vault because everyone knows how to do vault drops. You just, you know, destroy the foundation or whatever it is underneath and uh, destroy it. The vault will drop on top of the force field, but said force field will actually hold the vault up in the air. And Ross Clark found this over on his server. I will go ahead and let him tell you what server he is on PS4 right now. Go ahead, Ross Clark. Yeah, so it's Arc Energy. That's simply titled as that, really. And one of my players was had, had this build going on, and I thought, wow, what an amazing new technique. I need to go and check this out and see if I can develop it into something further. Yeah, so he built a really cool like uh, Death Star-looking thing out of this. So then, then I was like, okay, so you defensively, we created like a defensive... He wants to call it the ultimate death wall. I mean, I think it should be called the Rainbow Wall of Ponies, but that's me. <laughs> um, there's also like a defensive like juggernaut you can build with this. And basically, this is an idea that I just came up with how to use it offensively. So whenever you're raiding somebody, let's say this is the base we're trying to raid over here. We're outside of turret range and you can actually build probably up to about here. Uh, but I've decided not to. And this is the closest you can place down a tech force field. Now, when you place your tech force field down, what you're going to do, basically, I'm literally just going to put one up here. We're going to create like a double layer here. And that's where it's going to be a little bit funky. Because, okay, maybe not because it doesn't want me to place anything. Um, when you place this down, we're basically going to make a nice giant little... What in the heck? There we go. Okay, that works then. Uh, Ross is actually going to hate me because this is going to be pure chaos in about 20 seconds. So... <laughs> yeah, there it is. I was waiting for that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> obviously, the this is OCD-minded players of ARC that are going to be watching this and going, holy hell... What are you doing? <laughs> exactly. So so Ross is basically going to lose his mind in about 10 seconds. So basically all we're doing is we're creating a giant platform. Now you have to be okay with losing this platform. So building it out of thatch is fine. I just happen to be in GCM. So making uh, this sort of tech area up here is easy to do and not a big problem at all. Um, and what we're going to do is basically I'll explain the concept as soon as I finish this giant platform that I'm building up here so I can show you how to do this. Um, realistically speaking, I could zoom in through all this, but I'm not gonna because that's, you know, not fun and that's kind of boring, but whatever. Um, so Ross and I were talking about this. Basically what we're thinking is you're raiding this base over here. It's got turrets. You've got your trikes, your racers, all that kind of stuff, and you have to stay on the ground. It's kind of hard to get to a base like this because you've got a huge drop off on either side and people are really, and Ross brought this up, People are focusing on knocking you back. They don't care about actually doing damage to you because things are so high level nowadays that it, it damage almost doesn't exist, right? Ross, would you agree with that? Oh, totally. Yeah, that, that, that that's exactly. It. You know, it's much easier to knock a time away than it is to kill it nowadays. Yeah, so basically we're talking about that. So knocking somebody back is more important. So how do you find a safe little zone that you can go back to? Because inevitably a tech force field will go down. That's just how tech force fields work. It's really easy to take one down with some tech rifles or a tech rex. But what's not easy to take down, okay, you're about to hate me, is a bunch of chaotic vaults placed on top of you in a giant dome-like structure that you can sit underneath safely, not get picked by somebody's tames, uh, you can just hover around. You can place any number of these that you want down. I mean, I'm going to try and place them a little bit closer together for this lower level one. Um, and you can just hide from people underneath your own vault wall. It's going to give you protection from being sniped. It's going to give you protection from dragons. It's going to give you protection from griffins. Uh, and we were talking about this earlier, actually. How are you going to bring, you know, any sort of giga into a giant field of vaults? You're not, is the answer. It, it just doesn't happen. And then Ross brought up a hilarious thing. I'll let him kind of explain to you his thought about this. If all goes poorly, Ross, what are you going to do if they start pushing past you and you don't you know, drop the vaults out of the sky? What is that going to do? Yeah, just just uh, demo that force field and all the vaults will fall down and trap your foes within. So not only is this the ultimate kind of like defensive fob for yourself, 
But Ross came up with this idea that if someone's really pushing you and you want the ultimate kind of troll payback, drop it. I accidentally, and I, and I told Ross this afterwards, I, uh, when I was doing this, I accidentally trapped myself in a vault. So, yeah, it works. And you're, if you're an enemy, you can't destroy it. So, kind of fun. So, you can literally build this inside of a cave, too. You know what? I wonder if you were to attach this as, like, a trap inside of a cave. So, when someone bit, like, a thatch foundation or something like that with a Giga, it just traps them in place. That's another thing we should test Ooh. at some point in time. But that's just me thinking about that. <laughs> yeah, that could certainly work, yeah. That, and that's obviously just a thought process, but oh well. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm just placing down this giant vault force field. I'm almost done, I swear. It's a pain in the butt. I know you guys are sitting here <laughs> watching us place this down, but it's kind of important so you can see what we're doing here. Uh, so, and this is our offensive video on this. There is a defensive video that we made as well. And uh, it's kind of, it, it's not OCD at all. It's pure chaos. It's Ross's favorite. He loves pure chaos. <laughs> he hates OCD builds and where people have these. <laughs> you guys, I, I hope they understand I'm being facetious oh, here. It's killing me. It really is watching, I know. watching this mess. I know. Oh, but I mean, I, I'm hoping that other people think the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> we'd like, I just need to get my digital broom out and just move <laughs> just them across. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, teacher mentioned something about trapping gigas, and uh, uh, beyond that, there's the opportunity to prevent pickers as well. Mm -hmm. you know, you've got all those vaults above you, ain't no flyer coming over and picking up any of your dinos as well. Yeah, I mean, think about it. how are you going to get inside this thing? I mean, I leave this here, but you could build like layer upon layer upon layer upon layer upon layer of this and get closer and closer to somebody's base. And I think that's the part that I'm, I mean, I'll show you the next layer in a second here. Does this look chaotic enough for you? Super chaotic. <laughs> Perfect. Excellent. I'm just making sure that you enjoy the chaos here. I need yeah. to even get a little closer on this side, just a touch. I'll build this one nice and pretty for you. How's that sound? Oh, thanks. <laughs> and it's not going to be like there. It's almost pretty there. Hey. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> oh, no. I went too far that time. There we go. See, this is like the side where you pop out with your trike and you're like, hello, and then you recede back into your little wall of justice. That's it. Okay, so now, assuming this all works and goes to plan, this is going to give you a nice little... Should we go a little further, you think, or is that far enough? Uh, I mean, you can attempt one more, maybe. It's not going to hurt. What's worth noting as well is that, you know, when you come to drop the vaults, you could perhaps forward think and create a door to where the vaults are going to drop. So if you wanted that 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 space where your donors move in and out, you could essentially create that. Yeah, I mean that would definitely work. Mm. Mind you, that doesn't allow you to be chaotic though. No. So, <laughs> <laughs> so there's that aspect who, of it. Who wants that? <laughs> I mean, not me. Gosh, I enjoy well placed everything and not one ceiling tile sticking out in the middle of nowhere at all. All right, so this looks like it should work here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and bring this down and show you what it looks like. And boom. Now you have yourself a nice little, turn off that boy, defensive layer above you. Now, yes, obviously there's a hole up there. Uh, it looks like those ceilings, oh, it's just a render problem. Okay, cool. I was like, why is that even happening? But you can see now, Ross brought this up. Who's gonna come through this and pick you? They're going to get glitched on every single vault there is. You can build an even smaller one to have like a nice little layer beneath you right here to protect you from gigas and stuff like that. And then the only way to get you is to really actually have to push you. And that's not going to be fun in something like this. All right. So let's check, set this thing to max and see how close we can actually get to this base. I don't know. We're going to see. Um... Oh, goodness. So this is the literal closest you can get. I've got no special settings on right here. Uh, that's as close as you can get to somebody's base. And, Ross, I think you said that when you have this thing on, it won't clip anywhere for, like, how high up do you think it is? Three or four foundations? Oh, so uh, as in where, where uh, the vaults dropping, did you mean? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you need to account for render distance. So you, like someone asked me that... Could you just stack vaults upon vaults upon vaults? And theoretically you could, but there's a thing that if a vault drops beyond rest of, re rest of, render distance, then 
then that uh, vault will just disappear entirely. Something I found. So that's what's just worth considering. For sure. And uh, I think that that's something that's uh, important to note as well because you can't build it up super high. But I mean, realistically speaking, if you're like one of those super tribes and you're going after like a mega war or something like that, uh, you can build... I mean, you've probably got hundreds of thousands of vaults capability. I would oh, yeah. think so. I mean, because oh. I, as a small solo player, I can build probably five, 600 vaults a day. You know what I mean? And especially on official servers where they might have vaults coded in, into loot drops. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you could really, you could amass many and then create things like this with relative ease. Yeah, it wouldn't, I mean, it really wouldn't even be an issue at all because you kind of just get to do whatever you want because at this point on like official servers, who's going to challenge you? I, I don't think that like those big tribes, they can just maybe spend a day or two, get a whole bunch of these different raiding stuff ready. And then when they're ready to raid somebody, just plop down these mega structures like this because it's like you're already building a fob. Might as well make it so you don't really lose anything. But that's my just thought process. So, oh well, take that for what you will. And I'll kind of show you how close you can actually drop these vaults. And this is kind of the scary thing. Because you can probably use this, I would think, Ross, see what you think about this, but to C-spin somebody's base as like a little defensive point to start up in. Oh, 100%. Yeah, because, I mean, you can get these vaults close. Really close. Okay. And that's it. And this is based on official settings. Don't forget, you know, there's there's different servers with, with different settings depending on how close you can you can have that, that build range. So you could really yeah. do some damage. Yeah, I mean, you could literally get up. I mean, if, if you, especially if you're on a server that doesn't have very large zones that you yeah. can't build in, or like you can build close to each other. I mean, uh, you can build right up to somebody's base probably with this. And then they're in big trouble because what are they going to do? I mean, oh. they're going to have to blow up vaults and come out after you with like, what is it? 33 C4 to blow up a vault? Is that what it is? Something like that? Yeah, some, something like that. And like, like you said in, the, in your previous video, a minefield, an actual minefield of vaults. That's what it's mm -hmm. going to be. Yeah, because I mean, when you come on, when you come after somebody, like when you're defending, you're probably going to push with gigas. You're probably going to push with your griffins. You're going to push with all these things. And if you can't get to the people soaking, that's a problem. That's a really big problem. All right, let's see here. Now, this is as close as you can actually place these vaults. This is why I'm curious on this one. Uh, maybe even one more layer just to see. Yeah. Because, I mean, what are you going to do from inside this base if you can't actually see anybody that's raiding you? They can probably duck between these vaults and soak via vault coverage. I just don't know what you're going to do. I mean, I don't, at least. Well, they're just, be... they're just going to care and fear in the messiness of the vaults. <laughs> yep. yep. I mean, I, just, I don't know what you do. I have no, like, I'm just thinking about this. Like, if someone just puts up a giant vault wall to try and defend their base with, no thanks. I'll pass. I don't know what I would do to attack you. And, I mean, this is nice and pretty. But, I mean, if it was me, I'd go for the pure chaos mode, where you just, like, throw vaults all over the place so you can't predict where you're going to be able to actually get in. It's just, like, randomized. Mm -hmm. um, now, Ross, on the other hand, is is more about the pretty factor. So he <laughs> likes this kind of style where it's, like, almost... Okay, this isn't even pretty, is it? That's that's pretty bad, actually, now that I look at it. But still, some... almost, almost. All right, so this is going to be, like, our little... So here's our defensive structure we're going to hide inside of. I guess I can probably put down some vaults to cover us up on top, huh? Yeah, so I... I... Yeah, you, you want to... I think that would be a good idea. Refrain those pickers from flying in. Mm-hmm. Maybe. There we go. Okay. So why can I build here now? I don't ask questions on ARC. I don't ask questions on ARC. Okay. Looks like I'm pretty good here. There we go. Like, with one spot that I can't build. So, like, in the benefit about this is you can do this as many times as you want. You can literally just sit up here and, like, let's say you messed up on a spot. Bring it back up, put a yeah. new vault in that place. And they will, will they stack on top of each other, the vaults? Yeah, they depending on, on where they're positioned, they, they should do, yes. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you can even stack multiple layers, and that way when they blow up one, there's another one waiting to take its place. So, and then, again, we mentioned this, if someone's coming after you with Gigas and you're going to lose the fight anyways, wait till they get nice and close, pick up your barrier, destroy your barrier, and they literally get trapped inside of vaults. How's that for a lull? I mean, I would lull, but that's me. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be perfect. What? 
How is that obstructed? Okay. Thank you. Yes, that is nice in OCD notes. Oh, it's, it's lovely. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and demo this one. Pick up this bad boy. You can see that that kind of fell on top of us so nobody can shoot straight above you now. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and pick up this bad guy over here. I wonder how many are going to fall straight down. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. There you go. So when you're ridding somebody, you can make this smaller. You can make this as big as you want it. But you now have access to being, I don't know how you, I mean, if you've got like maybe like six or seven turrets here, who's going to push you? You know what I mean? They can't come straight down after you because they've got this giant death vault wall to get past. I mean, the rainbow wall of justice, the rainbow dome, <laughs> the rainbow justice dome. And uh, this is how you can easily just like build your own counter base. I mean, you don't really have to build. Just throw down some vaults and then you've got a counter base. You know what I mean? Man, that's cool. All right. Anyways, uh, other than that, Teach and Ross, out.